Okay, this video I'm sharing with you has to do with a card game that came out back in 1995. It's called the Illuminati Card Game. Yeah, pretty bold on their part, huh? I think the reason they named it the Illuminati Card Game is because they figured most people were still sound asleep. And they were right for the most part. Back in the day, most people were sound asleep. Now it's a different story, though. Most people are waking up. Alright, anyways, the reason I'm bringing this card game to your attention is because I want to show you how some of these cards line up perfectly with what is written in scripture. Yes, and this card game predicted 9-11 before it happened. Take a look at these cards on your screen. The card on your left is called Terrorist New Card. And the, doesn't that card look like the Twin Towers being hit? By the supposed airplane and it wasn't an airplane by the way I, I want to make that perfectly clear for those that don't know what hit the Twin Towers both buildings were entities demons fallen angels whatever you want to call them yeah they could transform themselves into planes helicopters that's just what your eyes can see but your eyes could deceive you what your eyes see what your ears hear can be quite deceiving sometimes so that's what the mainstream news were selling you oh it was airplanes some people on the ground saw dark shadows that's what it was entities so once these entities hit these buildings then their human cohorts hit the detonator and brought down the buildings so it was your government working with them government sponsored terrorism that's what happened on 9-11 and your card on your right the Pentagon card same thing, an entity hit the Pentagon. Both the Twin Towers and the Pentagon were hit on 9-11. Some of these cards predict what will take place in the future, what's happening now, and what has already transpired. Alright, here it is again. 9-11 happened in 2001. This card came out in 1995. The terrorist new card. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. I think it's pretty obvious. This picture is worth a thousand words and then some. Yeah, some of these cards line up with what is written in scripture, some of the prophecies. So... This is kind of like an introduction, I guess, to what I plan on doing in the future. I know most people know about this card game, but like the younger generation coming up, they don't know about this. So it's always good to refresh your mind, even if you know about this. You know, it's good to, to bring it back out once in a while. Because, you know, some people get drawn into the truth by some of these things, you know. Because the Bible turns them off so bad, and that's how it was for me starting, you know. I actually came through the truth movements like this, like, okay, the, okay, how does this, what's all this about? And then you find out that it's tied to scripture, to good versus evil, and then you're like, okay, so it's true, bang. And then you they, la they latch on to some of these things, and they're on their way. Now, some get lost along the way, but... Hey, it's worth a shot. If this is gonna, if this is gonna, if this is what it's gonna take for others to wake up, then so be it. The information is important, and I feel compelled to share it. Here's the terrorist new card again. Here's the Pentagon card. Terrorist nuke, Pentagon. All right. I mean, just look at it. It says right down the card, Pentagon. Coincidence? Oh, man. Anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. And I plan on making more videos about this Illuminati card game. So that's all I have for this video. And until next time, be safe, stay blessed. Shalom.